Okay, the third category of um, fuel test is under engine test. So now for deposition, we have engine deposition test. So the figure shows the um, I call the actual engine component. So we have cylinder head plug that used to collect the position, and also we can see uh, the plug location that will be insert in the cylinder head. And the second photo shows the um, the actual features of the uh, deposition plug. So we have. Um, at the, top, at the top shows the dep deposit surface where we collect the amount of deposit accumulation in the actual engine. So uh, the function of this plug actually uh, to to I call to measure or to collect deposit accumulation in a real engine. So for this test, uh, in terms of fuel, we will use uh, diesel fuel plus few percent of lubricant instead of we use by the cell so now for this one because uh, this lubricant just want to uh, call represent uh, what I call what happen if we uh, include in the fuel uh, what I call the certain amount of by the cell so because when we add uh, the lubricant in the fuel so the density of the fuel will increase slightly. Similarly, if we put a one percent or two percent of by this fuel, the density also will increase. So we want just want to know what the effect of uh, if we increase the density of the fuel of the fuel. So that's why in the experiment we use uh, this fuel, typical fuel plus one percent lubricant, and also this fuel plus two percent lubricant. And in terms of engine speed, so we have uh, 1,200 RPM. So the engine will run up to 20 hours. And the amount of deposit accumulated on the uh, uh, plug surface will measure every one hour. So this is uh, what I call the actual uh, apparatus of engine dep deposition test. So we have single cylinder engine diesel engine so we have um, uh, a heater a holder thermocouple that used to measure the temperature at the important, com important part of the engine so we have intake part exhaust pipe and also cylinder head so this is the schematic diagram so you can see that the schematic diagram shows the dimension of the deposition plug so in the plug actually, uh, there are two thermocouple uh, insert into the plug first to measure the, the thermocouple that to measure the actual temperature during the engine operation, and the second one is the thermocouple in order to main, uh, what I call to maintain the temperature at specific temperature. Okay, so in the in the plug actually also uh, during uh, during the experiment. Uh, we insert the heater to maintain the temperature to control the temperature of the plug at certain temperature okay so the temperature of the plug refer to the actual water temperature okay so this is the spec specification of the engine so we have engine name we have robin engine engine model dy 41 ds engine type for stroke ohv to valve cylinder in terms of number one cylinder ball size 80, 82 millimeter stroke size 78 millimeter displacement one uh, 412 uh, cc top clearance 0 0.87 millimeter compression ratio 21 intake valve open at 60 degree btdc close at 126 degree BTDC, exhaust valve open at 14 degree ATDC, and close at 1 to 4 degree ATDC. Cooling time is air cooling time. And the schematic diagram shows the uh, general features of the sing, sing, a single cylinder engine. So, where we have here, we can see that clearly where is the location of the deposition plug. 
and the, the the deposition plug will have the temperature controller and also temperature indicator to maintain the temperature at specific temperature okay so in terms of result so amount of deposit accumulated in the engine uh, what I call will in terms of data will will plot uh, versus with the number of injection so in the graph shows the total relative engine depo deposition mass that represent the amount of deposit accumulated based on mass of fuel inject into the engine versus numbers of injection so from the figure we can see that um, the fuel the result for deposition for df this typically is a fuel the second one the result for this fuel plus one percent lubricant and the second one uh, this is fuel plus two percent lubricant so for df represent by dash line df plus one percent lubricant represent by continuous line and df plus two percent lubricant represent by dotted line so we have uh, what I call first try data second try data and also average data in order to comparison to make comparison we will refer to the uh, average data okay okay so if you look at the what I call the green color line the green color line is shows the amount of deposit accumulated for the F so blue color line represent amount of deposit formation for the F plus one percent lubricant so we can see that amount of the F plus one percent lubricant obtain higher amount of deposit accumulation compared to typical diesel fuel df however if you look at the result they obtain for, uh, for df plus two percent lubricant oil we have a fluctuation in terms of data so sometime at the beginning the amount of deposit accumulated for df plus two percent lubricant oil greater than the F plus one percent lubricant oil after a certain period of time uh, I call uh, the, the F plus one percent lubricant oil uh, in terms of deposit accumulation will exceed the amount of deposit accumulation uh, by the F plus two percent lubricant oil. so this is uh, maybe due to the um, you know, what I call the process involved with uh, deformation of deposit and also the record the removal of deposit in actual engine so we have uh, fluctuation data in terms of deposit accumulation however in general after the end of after the the uh, the experiment complete uh, we can see that the f plus two percent lubricant will have greater amount of deposit accumulation com uh, followed by the f plus one percent and then followed by typical fuel so the result actually uh, align with uh, what we have expect due to the increase of density when we add more uh, percent lubricant inside the fuel okay so percentage of lubricant oil in fuel increase so amount of deposit accumulation on plug surface also will increase so this also we can relate with the biodiesel because when we uh, add in terms of more percentage of biodiesel in fuel the density of fuel will increase thus we can relate with the result for the actual engine where if we use biodiesel fuel we increase biodiesel fuel content in fuel and use in actual engine the amount of deposit accumulation on the plug surface also will increase okay so in terms of heat release result due to the combustion result sorry heat release due to the combustion so we can see that uh, the figure A shows the heat release after one hour of engine operation and figure B shows the heat release after 20 hours of engine operation. So fuel will lubricant all disturb and reduce the heat release in the engine suggests that the increase of deposit layer on the wall due to the incompleteness of the combustion increase. So you can see in the figure A 
so we have less heat release for the F plus one percent lubricant and also the F plus two percent lubricant compared to typical diesel fuel. Okay. However, after twenty hours of engine operation, still we have a heat release for the F plus one percent and also the F plus two percent lubricant lower than typical diesel fuel. Okay, that's the effect of uh, the addition of uh, oil lubricant inside the fuel. So the important point that we need to consider when we discuss about the uh, call the fuel deposition. So we need to know the cause of the deposit formation, the deposit formation effect, the effect of different type of fuel on deposit for, on the deposit formation. And also the reason why different type of fuel have different type of deposit development. So these are uh, the question or the things that we need to know in order to explain uh, what I call the deposition of fuel for biodiesel fuel and also diesel fuel. Okay, so that's all uh, for the uh, fuel deposition topic. Assalamualaikum.